What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Check it out, man. Um, I want to talk about something that us as people tend to do a lot. And me saying this, I'm hoping that I can change the direction of how we think as it relates to information that we receive and how we respond to it. We seem to have a um, tendency to gravitate more towards mess and drama than we do towards just general good news or just general information. And no better example of that exists than just seeing what goes on on social media every day. If someone was to put, hey man, I just want to say good day and God bless to everybody, man. You might get a few, few views, you might get a few likes or whatever the case might be. But you won't get as many as if you had put Man, this dude say one more word to me, I promise. My next door neighbor say one more thing to me. It's on. You will have 550 likes and 250 comments in the first 15 minutes. Because people gravitate towards mess and drama. If somebody was talking about a celebrity or something, if somebody read that this particular rapper or this singer or this person or that went to jail or he beat his girlfriend up or she was on drugs or she did if if some of that comes out man Somebody got divorced. We all over that. And it puts the question in my head. Why do those type of things excite us more than just general good things, regular things, good news? Hey, my son graduated. And that would get some, some likes, but it wouldn't be the same as if when the mess comes. What is it about how we are wired up now that makes us get off to that negative stuff? And how can we fix it? How can we change the way we think in order to give that same type of excitement and direct it where it needs to go, towards the good things in life. We grow up thriving off of gossip, thriving off of talking behind people's back, thriving off of Rejoicing in other people's setbacks or misfortunes or their failures to some degree. What makes us thrive on that? It's that envious spirit that comes up in people when they see other people being successful. And the envy and the hate that you had for that person who came up and made a success out of themselves is matched by happiness and enjoyment and excitement if by chance that same person falls from grace. If that person just happens to 
to hit a bad pocket in their life, hit a bad streak. We get happy about that. I mean, literally, it, it like you can see. You ever been around somebody, around two people that was talking about somebody else that wasn't there? Do you see the 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 excitement? I couldn't find a word. You can see it in their eyes how motivated and adrenaline driven they are as they are slandering this person. And they playing off each other. One of them say something. Yeah, cause yeah, cause I remember when she, uh, they just bounce it off to get off to that. Why can't we get off? Why can't we talk about somebody behind their back about good stuff? Yeah, man, I heard he just got a raise. Man, I hope he get another one. You know what? He's trying to move up, man. I hope he I hope he can do that. And then what he trying to do, he trying to break away from the company and start his own thing. Man, I hope he do. That'd be beautiful, man. That'd be so, I'd be so happy for him. Shh, he come. What if, what if talking behind people back was like that? That would be the coolest thing in the world. Why is it that we have to post about controversy in order to get views, in order to blow up? And it's always about somebody else's controversy. It's always about somebody, in most cases, people you don't even know. You talking about celebrities and things, and I'm not talking about social commentary, because I know how some of y'all think. I'm not talking about social commentary or things that can educate and inform. I'm talking about flat out mess. Mess to where you see grown men yapping cackling and gossiping like girls. No disrespect to girls, just young, immature people. And grown women gossiping, not worrying about their own life and situation, but putting more emphasis on somebody else's life and situation. That's a waste of time. I made a video the other day about wasting time and procrastinating. <clears throat> and the old saying is, all of the energy that you use to bring somebody else down or, or even just to feel a certain way about them negatively, you are detracting from your own progress by doing that. This is why what they call, or what we refer to as conscious music, conscious rap, this is why in this day and age, conscious rap don't, it don't do that good. I don't know if I want to hear all that. But if you come out degrading yourself, degrading women, glorifying uh, street activities. You got a shot. And it's by design that it's set up like that because the world has presented so many things to us that have swayed our focus towards that which is not good for us and it's enticed us and we've fallen in love with it. So the same applies with just the mentality. We have been programmed and trained to love mess and drama and 
have zero interest or become bored with good news as it relates to someone else. Now, if it's your good news, oh yeah, you all over it. But how come we can't celebrate the good news of other people with the same enthusiasm as we celebrate their setbacks? So that's all I wanted to talk about, man. Y'all, anything I forgot, y'all leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Click that bell so y'all know when your big brother drops something. And um, I'm out.